Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it is the morning of day six and I did a lot of work last night. So we've got kind of this little turret, well not turret, but a little house built on top of the uh, the um, tank here. And I've got a way to get out of here so we can, if all else fails, we can just run through here, jump over to there, or we can put some frames down and climb over to the wall so we're good to go. Uh, so let's have a look here. I got three hatches down here um, because we're not going to be doing any repairing during the Horde Night. That's one of the stipulations of this game is we can't repair anything during the Horde Night. So we're going to have to deal with it. Now I got these sloped like this just so I can see zombies down here. We can probably shoot them from up here. Now the shotgun doesn't have that much range so unless I find a pistol or something I'm going to have to run with the bow on Horde Night as well. Um, and I, and I block these off like this just so that vultures can't get in. I don't know if we're going to get any vultures on Horde Night, but if we do, we don't want them to get in and attack us. So we got a cage above us, cage around us. This means I can't throw Molotovs over to Jen's place, but I am kind of planning on getting her place reinforced. So, um, yeah, so that's one of the goals we have to do. Oh, it looks like our uh, little nest down here has produced some eggs for us or something. I got a few feathers. That's not bad. Um, so yeah, I didn't do anything, any work on the walls, but I just worked on the horde base all last night to figure that out. This has all been updated, so we're ready to go here. And I've been thinking about how I want to do, because we've got to put down the power and everything today. we got a bunch of stuff we have to do today. Um, let's go ahead and get some iron arrows going. Uh, we got to figure out, how, <coughs> excuse me, how we're going to lay this out. So let's go ahead and drop these in too before I forget. We got to get the corn from upstairs. Um, so get these two guys dropped in. I, I, I have a feeling this is probably all going to get destroyed. Get destroyed. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if it does. Yeah, we just replace it. All right. So I don't think we're going to need to knock these stairs out for Horde Night. I, I don't think that that'll happen. If we get time, that's what we'll do. But if we don't have time, I'm not going to worry about them for now. So this stuff can go in here for now. Um, our coin is up here. Let's keep these on us so we find more feathers today. We have to turn this into you. you did it. I did. Job, Ooh, leather armor or first aid? I'm going to go with first aid, I think, because I don't want to be slow. Well, we do have the ability. I got a couple things I could put in this, I think. Noise increases plus 10%. I don't know if this gives me two slots. What do I got here? Where are my mods? Are they up here? I thought I had mods. Did I not, did I stick them in my armor? Or maybe I don't have any. Oh, I guess I didn't. <coughs> I guess I didn't find any. I, I don't. Okay. Whatever. Um. All right. So couple things we need to do. We're going to put in, we need clay first. Um, I'll get my reward in a second. I think we're going to go for the, um, we're not going to go for the armor, we're going to go for the other other thing. Uh, uh, come on, don't do two things at once. Work. Let's get another 100 going. We're going to do 75. That's fine. Eight minutes. <sighs> fine. We got we to gotta get some iron today. The other thing we have to do is, how much forged iron do we have? 14. Um, all right, we got to go mine some iron because we got to make an iron pickaxe today. We grab the well. In your debt. Here is your yeah, reward. I want to take those. I think. Do you got any jobs today? Anything close by? Like really close? Got to fetch to the northeast. 399. Fetch to the southeast. That's where the houses are. I think more southeast. Let's go. Let's do that one. Old bungalow. Sure. We do that. There's our corn seed we want to plant today. Nothing going on in there. All right, so we do need food. Uh, let's go ahead and use you. And we don't really have anything, do we? We're going to need more than that if we're getting out of here. Um, do we have... we got one apple. Man, uh, lamb rations. No food poisoning. All right, well, let's go ahead and use just one for now. And let's use probably another one of these guys. Let's scrap the can. 
All right, so let's get 10 cloth too. I want to get these arrows out of my inventory here. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and get 10 more going. And then what we'll do also is take this guy. Actually, you know what? We I was going to scrap these in the workbench, but we're going to need radiators for stuff. So let's just hang on to those for now. <coughs> and before we go, uh, actually, you know what we want to do is we want to grab these guys. Oh, God, I lose my voice. Um, we need to go. Did I take my coin? I did. Because we had to buy a wire tool from Jen. Because I want to wire up before we go. And that way, um, I kind of already know what moved. we're going to be doing. My oh, that's fine. Maker's on the fritz again. <clears throat> Got any jobs today? Oh, we're already doing something for you. All right, that's it. Fetch. You know what? Man, my voice is always crap in the morning. All right, so we cancel that quest. Um, it's Good Friday here, which is why I'm like this. Let's go ahead and do the you fetch know? to the east uh, modular house. Sure. If you finish two more jobs this week, then I what? will give you employee of the month. Excellent. I could use the employee of the month. Next, nice. All right. Um, so as far as these go, this is going to be probably a bad idea, but. We're going to put two of these guys right here. Mm, yes. And yes. So that's right in front of the door. I mean, we could put them like... Like that. It makes them susceptible to damage, but I don't think on this first Horde Knight we have to be all that fancy. I think we run it like that. And then, let's take you out of here. Where are we going to put you? Um, I want to put you inside here. But then running the cables is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Actually, we might be able to do it. Let's go buy the... Let's go buy her tool. Where are you here? Uh, may I see your inventory? Tools, traps. I thought you had a... Wire tool. There it is. Go ahead and buy that. I'm definitely going to need that. Swap these two around. Alright. I just All right. knew you'd find something you'd like. Yeah. You know me. I mean, we could put it on the outside of the building for now. I don't think we're going to get spitters or anything. Let's just throw it here for now. And we're going to wire this up real quick. So what I want to do is put this on the inside of the building. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Wire these up separately. So if one gets destroyed, we don't lose the other one. Get that there. I'm putting this at leg level because I'm finding that that's the best choice. Uh, when it comes to zombies. Now, there are some zoom zombies uh, um, that are immune to electricity, so they'll be like laughing at this, but we can deal with them once they get to the once they get to the uh, the trap doors there. All right. Um, I was really hoping to put together a proper pickaxe today, but we don't have the forged iron, so maybe we can find some when we're out. I'm gonna drop you uh, there. I'm gonna leave this guy behind. We'll leave our coin here. We don't need the clay. We'll leave the clay here. Uh, we got what, eight? All right. Eight, and then we need an engine and all the gas. And we'll go put that in out there. How are you guys doing? Not bad. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get this full filled up. We're not going to need much more than that. But that gets us ready for Horde Night. So. Or if, you know, a massive scream will hurt or some other shit like that happens, we are ready. Oh, we can drop off our tool as well here. We're overheating. We should probably take some liquid with us. And man, we're, our food's dropping like a rock. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have major issues with food. Let's go ahead and take this with us. And we're going to take one of these guys with us. 
because we got some distance to travel here today. So let's go do that. Let's try and be as efficient as possible out here. Tonight we're going to mine the iron and I'm going to get a proper iron pickaxe going. And then tomorrow, I was going to take the stairs out today at the back with the proper iron pickaxe, but we didn't have the forged iron. Maybe we can get some when we're out today. Like if we find a broken workbench or something like that. Ooh, someone dropped a bag for us. We got our shotgun on us just in case. I want to make a proper bow too. Wow, that guy, whoever dropped that must have been some pretty nasty piece of work. Um, let's modify you. Get the spikes in there. I, I much prefer that over the chain. Let's just go ahead and modify you. Can't forget that that's on there, so if I sell it, then uh, it's not any better. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and scrap both of these things. There's no point in... Uh, hanging out of those just for now. All right, let's just go. All right, so it looks like the house that we've done before, whoop, let's not run over the cactus, um, is the fetch house. Make sure she walks into it. All right, well, let's do this one again. Get done real quick, let's get this stone. I always hit up these pallets because for the limited number of hits you get the same amount of stone as you would out of a regular stone pile or a regular stone. Alright, you guys, uh... Come on, bring it. Yep. Oh, you're still going, are you? There you go. I had my knife out, I wasn't about to switch. Alright, let's grab this stuff. So I'm gonna always grab the cobble and concrete early on. Uh, the fact that we got a mixer is great. I know, like, if we didn't have a mixer, I wouldn't be grabbing that. There's gonna be no point. But because we've got a mixer, we might as well just pick it up. Uh, okay, we're good for that. Let's just go ahead and thank you guys. For the nitrate powder. Up in there. Alright, this is the one we burned through fast before. I don't think we got everything in here last time. We never came back to reloot it, so no big deal. It's all reset now. But we're going to go through here and grab the important stuff. And then bail. Uh, oh, that's nice. Okay, scrap armor schematic we don't need, so we can scrap that. Pistol schematic we're going to go ahead and use. Just so we have it. Um, and then what else do we have here? Anything behind here? Nothing there. Got somebody outside. They don't seem to be all that, uh... All that tough. What's up, you? Okay, let's take out... Whoever's behind door number one. See ya! Probably got somebody in here, too. All quiet in Western Front. Take the paper, I guess. Nothing in the toilet. Let's check this out. Take that. Take this. Ah, I can. Whatever. Okay, what don't we need here? We can get rid of the glass. Take that. Um, I think we're good on the rotten meat right now. We got lots, so we don't need that. behind there. Unlocked. Actually, let's go ahead and repair this now. Nobody in here. Alright. Man, she's taking a while to get in here. Gotta scrap that. We're getting we're about halfway there to being able to get another class book. Yeah, I thought there might be somebody in there. Yeah, let's get this one done quick, and then we'll come back and loot. Come on, buddy. Bring her out. Is it just me or they seem slower today? Alright. Uh, we'll take the recog for a coin. I'm gonna try and break into this safe, too, here today. Um, wow. 
that's actually really good. All right, now I know we've read the bow schematic, so we can scrap that. Steel tools, I think we're going to get that soon enough. Let me just double check this. Um, skills, uh, laborer, machinist, crash steel, the crucible, steel, arrowheads, concrete mixer, and concrete. What's the last one? Steel tools. So we're not going to get it soon. So let's go ahead and read this. Because now, once like, once we take that skill, we'll be able to um, craft some steel and make a steel pickaxe early. That'll be nice. Being able to grab all the material we need really fast will be super, super nice. Alright, come on. Get in here the first shot. We've been doing pretty good with... Oh, see? I spoke too soon. So I was saying we've been do doing pretty good with picking locks. How many lockpicks we got left? Two? I'm not going to risk these last two on this. I would rather get a proper gun safe. Anything in there? No. You keep banging away, kiddo. Someday you'll get in. I ain't going to be here at that point, but, you know, you'll make your way in here at some point. I'm um, good on that. I mean, I could use the yellow die. I'm just going to go ahead and scrap this. Take the flashlight for sale. Crash that up. Alright, now where is our... It's back that way. Uh, she broke something out there. Still not in here, though. You're not banging on the door. Ooh, we'll take the brass. Yeah, we forgot. We never looted this kitchen last time. We only looted a couple things. Alright, what else do we got here? And we can scrap that. And we'll scrap these. Might as well use this. It's not in our inventory. Like, we're dropping like our... Like our water and everything. Just because of the heat, right? She killed herself trying to get in here. She just couldn't wait and then died trying to get in. One blueberry. Don't need the coffee. We're going to leave the blueberry behind here, though. And the beer. Let's go ahead and scrap this. Actually, with the beer, it's got what? Stamina regen, brawling damage, stun resist, duration, and five wellness? Why would it add wellness? So wellness is a mechanic in this version that, um, or in Darkness Falls, that uh, helps with like maximum stamina and being able to do things. So the better quality food meals you eat and things like that, the better off you're going to be. One corn. We got corn growing, so we'll leave that. Um, I got to be picky about what I take now. All right, I was going to break down. Do I want to break down the beds for the springs? Probably, I guess. And then we can scrap the... Uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's go ahead and grab our, our bag that we need to grab. So that's done. And we can scrap these guys because we can make them at home. Uh, let's drink both of these waters right now. Get them out of our inventory. Um, I don't know how much paper we have at home, which is why I don't want to ditch this. Actually, you know what? We don't need the cloth. We've got a fair amount of cloth at home. We've got this just in case. Let's bring this down here. We may need it after this next one. So let's go ahead and get out of this place. Oh, you broke through here, eh? That's all right. Makes it a little easier for me to get out. Then we're going to head southeast. Excellent. Which is... Where's the next one? That way. Oh, yeah, because it wasn't really that far away. Um, has this been actually back grown again? Um, yeah, looks like it is. Excellent. Well, I mean, we got some bananas to eat if we need to. That'll help us a bit. All right, let's take this. Let's take this zombie out here real quick. If we're getting close to where we need to be. Now I'm trying to remember in the old, um, in the car, uh, uh or the passing gas. We don't need either of these. Wow, the lag. Uh, in the passing gas over there, the auto shop. Ooh, zombies spawning in like crazy. Um, I can't remember if there was like a workbench and stuff that we didn't break down. I don't think there was, though. I don't want to walk all, all the way over there and get nothing out of it. So we're not going to bother. I'll take the mechanical parts. What's up, buddy? You seem very disturbed. Well, you're dead and disturbed now. 
I get to jiggle on him too. I guess you can't. But whatever. All right, we're up ahead. Oh, three lockpicks. Yeah, I see. Maybe I should have tried to break in. Check this one now. Our game stage is up, I think, a little higher now. We're getting some half decent stuff. I should break this up, though. I really should be breaking up this trash and stuff, because if I don't, I'm just going to attempt to search it again later. What was that again? The cloth, which we don't need. And you are... All right, whatever. Take the paper and plastic, though. All right, um... Oh, is it this place right here? Nice. Excellent. Okay, so the right here, there is a gun box, which we'll open up now. Then we'll hit it up again once we fire this thing off, or this quest off here. That's exploding arrows. That's That could come in really handy for Horde Knight. Because we should be able to shoot them through the... Um, uh, the bars. So if there's anybody at Jen's place, we can just launch a couple arrows over there. Now, a lot of the zombies, especially on Horde Night, won't, um, die from that damage, most likely. Okay, now how much are you worth? 36? Let's just go ahead and scrap you. How much are you worth? Scrap you. You're worth 82. We'll hold on to that one. Alright, we're doing okay for getting some iron today. But yeah, as I was saying, a lot of the zombies will have like a lot more hit points than one arrow will uh, be able to take care of. Which is why I think in this in this particular... Am I hitting? What am I hitting here? There we go. Um, in Darkness Falls, um, a pipe bomb base probably wouldn't be your best, your best go-to. Uh, simply because you don't want the zombies to be getting that close to you. Uh, let's get up here. Oh, shit. Wasn't watching my corners. Good thing she didn't hit very hard. I'm finding that early on in the game, the zombies really don't hit that hard. They can still kill you, obviously, but they don't really hit all that hard, so you're kind of okay. I'm probably going to have to, after day 7, I'm going to turn up the start turning the difficulty up a little bit. And increase the horde size too. Alright, getting a little bit of lag again here. I don't know why that is. Alright, um... This guy I think spawns in once you get down here. Yep. What's up, lady? One nail, eh? Carrying a whole nail in your pocket. Probably why you're so ornery. Nothing there. How much is this worth? 70? Okay, we'll hang on to it. Um, not gonna go breaking all the paintings and stuff. Let's go ahead and break the bed apart. Got two skill points to spend. Alright, scrap you. Let's drop the cloth. Okay, uh, skill points. Now, um... Let me see here. Laborer, we've already got what we need here. Although Inventor gives us more from trap kills, unlocks the shotgun auto turret, and various power door recipes, which would be kind of cool. This is steel in the crucible, so I'm going to grab and concrete mixer and concrete. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I think what we'll do is we'll come back here. And can we go another one of these? Yeah, I'm going to go with sexual tyrannosaurus again. That's really going to help out in the long run. All right, this place is quiet for now. Don't need the hop seed. Don't need that. Get on the poo. Check your corners. Check those corners. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? 125 and 150. All right, we're good. We good. Whoa, maybe not. You got a strong jaw, huh? Loot bags galore. Well, we'll take that for now. All right, we'll take this and get give you that. Oops. There you go. You hold on to that. All right, let's just search the kitchen real quick, because once we're done here, I want to be out of here fast. Uh, that's nice. We can scrap that. More nitrate powder. 
It means more crops, more us doing our job back at the house. Uh, we should be doing our job now, but, you know, we're ready for Horde Night, I think. If the Horde Night was coming tonight, I think we would be fine. Uh, let's modify you, because you look like crap. Ah, even crappier. Nice. Um, scrap you up. Come on, something good. Ah. What do we got in here? Uh, alright, well, we'll grab that for now. We might be dropping some stuff here. And yeah, nothing. What do we got in here? Beer. Alright, well. A couple coins. Moving on. I think I remember this house now. I think this is a real quick one. Scrap that. Take these. Where's the supplies? Just over here. So I think... This is the last room, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's a basement here. What's up, buddy? I don't th oh, okay, there's something under here. Don't think there's a basement in this place. Come on, something good. Hooray, three iron. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, that's nice. Bikes for dumb shits. Well, we already have the ability to open bikes if we want to. And we want... Okay, you know what? I want, I'm interested to see here. I'm going to go ahead... We're going to read the, sh the sniper rifle one, for sure. This one. So this is bikes for dumb shit. So this should give us the bikes. But we already have... Go to skills. So I'm, I'm confused a little bit about how the skills work. So... Where is the bicycle one? It's down here. Bi so we don't have any points in it. So now if we use this, does it actually give us the point? Oop, wrong one. Right at the bottom. It does give us the point. Okay. Well, that's handy. All right, now I know. And knowing is half the battle, right? So G.I. Joe says. All right, let's get uh, you. So the uh, part. And we'll take that to sell. Grab the electrical parts out of there. Do a quick search in here. Uh, okay. Uh, just go ahead and scrap. That's worth 60, though. Let's take it. I'm trying to get a cutoff point of dollar value, what I'll take and what I won't. Come on. All right, well. I'm having a hard time determining what that is. I thought it was maybe like 50 or 40 or something like that. So double storage pocket mod. We should be able to put on our shirt now. Actually, let's put it on our jacket because most likely we'll be keeping the jacket and losing the shirt if we find something better. All right, so that's actually pretty good. We didn't make out too bad. Now in here, that's just where we were, right? Yeah, that was where we were. So there's nothing really there. All right, I'm going to break a couple of these things apart real quick. There's some electrical parts, and then we'll be out of here. All right, that's not bad. We'll just take the 10. Oh, we already searched that. All right, let's just go out this window here. Now we can drop the glass. Let's get out of this place. And head home. Oh, there's a garage back here. Is the door open? It's not. Well, we might as well check the garage. You never know if there's a good box in here or not. Oh, there's a working stiffs box. Sounds like there's zombies out there fighting a coyote or something. Oh, four mechanical parts, so not the best, but... All right, well, let's just break up all this material. It's free stuff, so might as well grab it before we go home. All right, not a lot in here. Ah, <sighs> okay, well, sure. I picked up a bunch of water. Is there anything up here? All right, I guess we're nerd pulling up. I was hoping we could just quickly pop up and see, but ah, I was hoping for a gun bag, but okay, let's get out of here. Actually, we're just going to go ahead and break you up real quick and break you up real quick get some plastic yeah not bad a little bit of plastic all right let's head home what's up zamboni 
Ooh, right in the jaw. Another one. Did you kill a dog out here or something? Was there a dingo out here, buddy? Because if there was, I wouldn't mind, uh... We didn't get any grass for that, so that's good. Wouldn't mind, uh, looting his carcass here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, loot the car. Um, we'll hang on to that. I think maybe it was you fighting the dog. You took some damage, it looked like. I don't see a body anywhere. Alright, well... You know, I was just thinking last night when I was going to bed that we haven't checked out this place yet. This looks like a pre-designed horde base. And... Which is weird because you would think there wouldn't be a door here. Because where, like, what would... What advantage would that door give you? Like, there's a door on every side? Because they would just come right to the door, wouldn't they? Like, wouldn't they just go right to the door rather than trying to get up to you? I, I don't know what advantage that would be. Let's go ahead and use our food here. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're going to have to make our way in here at some point. And there's no way in from the top. So, yeah, I don't know. I might turn this into a turret. I could put a couple turrets on top of it. I don't know. I'm already thinking about the outside and how we want to do it. I'm probably going to build like a like at least a couple like two or three uh, wide wire fences, barbed wire fences out here. And then probably a little bit of a ditch with some spikes. And then over top of the ditch, I'm going to have um, drawbridges that can go down on all four sides. And then on horde night, um, depending on how good our internal horde base is, we may just drop the drawbridges and let them get in and come to us. But we'll have to see. I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't just quite decided what we're going to do. Another wonderful morning in the apocalypse. Yeah, isn't it great? Can I help wow, you? I didn't think you had it in you. Wow, Good really? job. Uh, we'll take the bandages. Um, oh, it looks like she's got new stuff opened up here. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and sell her some stuff here. Sell that. How much is this worth? 66? Sure. Uh, yeah, you've only got one heat resist. Might as well sell that. I don't care about taking the dyes off these guys right now. You got two heat resists, so... Yeah, let's just sell it. Forget it. Uh, what else do we have? You're going to get sold. You can get sold. And you can get sold. We made 2500 off that run from her. That's nice. Okay, so what else do you have here? Uh, I should check. I think I did this already, but I want to check to see if you have any forged iron. You do. Uh, how much is... Mm, 40. 1200, eh? Fine. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, come again. Thanks for being here. I got the better of the deal. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, are you guys up and ready to go? Yep, we are. Now we should get a couple from this. Two and two. Perfect. Alright, so let's go talk to this guy. Drop all their shit off. And then... Actually, let's go here first. And do uh, iron pickaxe. Get that crafting. Level 21. Not bad. Get that crafting. All right, let's talk to you. Thank you, survivor. My Full auto trigger group or hunting rifle. In your debt. Here is your reward. That's worth 900. Let's take it, and we'll probably use it later on. Um, now we want to go ahead once again, like I said, and buy all these guys up off you. And that's it, I think. It's I can't share really painkillers with our you with our buddies in uh, blue outside, I guess. But we'll just do, do, do that. Drop this stuff in here. Go ahead and scrap you. What else do we have that can go in here? You. Oh, the recog we wanted to sell, I think. Uh, let's just drop it in here for now. All right, what can go in here? Um, all that stuff. Oh, we can drop the water down here, too. Oh, man, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do food-wise. That can go in there, and then the rest of this is... Oh, we wanted to sell this, too. Yeah, no biggie. Uh, we could sell the baseball bat as well. Um, let's go back and do that. Uh, drop you guys in here, you in there. There's the coin can go in there. We're doing okay with our coins now. Okay, if we're going to do it, though, let's modify. Take the chain mod off because it sells more by itself. The bat, um, level 30, or cost 30. We're going to hold on to it because you can actually repair stuff in here by combining combining items. So I could drop that in, drop this in, and repair our bat and actually make it better. We lose the uh, thing off it, but 
we could do it um, so I'm gonna save that for repairing it just saves material doesn't cost us anything all right let's grab the arrows out of here um, we've got we need sticks right we need 16 sticks so uh, we need wood too man holy crap that'll give us the sticks we need and then we can go ahead and ditch um, Put the arrow uh no let's put them up here so i know where to go to get them and then recipes iron arrowheads or iron arrows craft those okay um right now what uh we're waiting for this to come out a minute let's try and make some more food what can we make um ah uh, god oh uh no we can, can we do no we can't do hmm I was thinking meat stew, but we can't do that right now. I think we just have to kind of, ah, oh God, grill up some meat, I guess. Actually, what would it take to do some of this stuff here? Well, bacon and eggs, relatively easy. We need bat. We need to make batter, banana pancakes. We need to make batter, banana bread, banana eggs, and coconut. That's a lot of bananas, though. Let's see how good that is. I hope it's good because if it's not, it's going to be a ripoff for eggs. Um, I'm going to take this because we'll make bacon and eggs. Banana, banana, eggs, and cocoa nut. I only got four coconuts? Really? I guess so. Alright, let's make banana bread. Uh, and then we'll make one bacon and eggs. Oh boy, we're uh, living at large now, guys. Living at large. I guess we have to go find... I should probably go check to see if the apples are ready today again. It is day six. Alright, how good is the banana bread? How good are you? 25 food. So it's marginally better. Uh, let's go ahead and use it. We'll leave the bacon and eggs. I'm going to drink a little bit of water. Actually, one of these guys before we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh, is this ready? It is ready. Perfect. Uh, we don't have anything. Oh, we do have something on this one. Structural brace, right? Right. Uh, modify you. Take you off. Complete. And modify you. Put the structural brace in. Go ahead and scrap this for the iron. Alright, let's go sell these two things to Jen. Let's get outside. The sun's going down. You can tell by the shadows. Um, may I see your inventory? Sell you that and sell you that. Now let's see. Alrighty then. Okay. Stay um, safe out there. Other work. Trade routes. How far away is it? 2.2 kilometers that way. Um, I think that's still a mini bike trip. All right. Teach me to be a better crafter. What do you got? Nothing. Okay. Uh, any new recipes? Aloe cream and first aid bandages. How much do we have on us, Duke Wise? Now. Oh, a fair bit. Um. Where are you here? Uh, new recipes. So we'll take the aloe cream recipe and we'll take the first aid bandage recipe. That comes in the science class, so that's a bonus for us. Now we should just be able to make um, yeah, we can go ahead and straight up make aloe cream and then uh First aid bandage, straight up making that too. Beautiful. Excellent. Alright, let's get out the back here. We gotta go get some wood. Oh man, there's so much to do. This mod is all, like, it's always got you doing something. Like, you can't, like, not be doing anything. You can just sit on your ass if you want, but that's a good recipe for death. So, uh, yeah, always gotta be doing something. I might as well grab some aloe while we're out here too. Since we are healing up a lot of the, um, uh, survivors that we see, we might as well start making a half decent number of bandages. Our apple trees are not growing yet. I know we don't need to add water near them. It does say that. You don't have to add water near them. Oh, and these are grown fully, so let's grab some wood off of these guys. I should make a proper axe, too. I should really think about that and make a proper axe here. Okay, you... 
There's the cricket. So we got a couple of hours left. Let's just get out here and see if the apples are ready. I think the banana's over there. And the oranges. Yep, the apples are ready. Beautiful. So we can make fruit salad tonight if we have to. So we're good on that. Pick you. Actually, I shouldn't have to worry. I shouldn't have to pick that up because I think the uh, the guard captain up where we've got all our gak, I think he sells those. So he could just sell us the uh, aloe. I know it, it seems weird to be like spending my coin the way I'm spending it here, but you know, in this particular playthrough, I'm treating it as barter. It's like, yeah, I've done jobs for you, so I'm using the barter coin for the stuff that I've done for you guys to get things that I need, you know? Because somebody's actually gone out and done the aloe, uh, aloe run. Got that. Now, I think there's more oranges over here. It's not stop for any more of those, though. There's their survivors. Look at you guys patrolling together. How are you doing for health? Do you guys need some health? You're full. Oh, you could use a little bit. There you go, buddy. Good work, guys. Keeping me safe. Yeah, these are orange. Oh, orange and uh, orange and apple? Ah, figures. Repair you. Maybe I should make a better axe then. Alright, what do I do while I'm waiting? Let's pick up some stuff here. Carrots. I think I can make... Oh, that's a chicken I heard. Alright, well, not going to engage at the moment. Because we're out here for specific stuff, so let's just worry about this right now. Grab you. We need potatoes. i got to get a uh, potato seed going, so we got to find some potatoes. There's one over... Oh, one right here. One right here. Oh, perfect. There's three. We got one at home that'll give us enough for a seed. Alright, we can plant it now. Excellent. And I should be able to make... I think I'm actually close to making um, tomato juice as well. I think it's four tomatoes and one thing of water. Actually, before I forget, let's go. Oh, I don't have enough. I was going to say I was going to go ahead and make the seed now, just so I don't accidentally use them making food. Grab some more feathers. Is there one over here? There is. Nice. All right. Uh, recipes. Potato seed. Actually, what? We're not going to do it here. We're going to do it back at home. Because if we do it in the mortar and pestle, we'll get uh, double. Yeah, it's nice. Like, like I think you really need to, if you're going to play this mod pack, for people who who are like me and can't just try and figure, well, I could just try and figure it out, but it would become so frustrating and I would probably not um, enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying it now. Um, watching a couple of playthroughs or playing through a little bit yourself, just so you understand how the recipes work. So you play through with no stress, right? Just, if you die, you die, no big deal, right? And just figure things out. And then when you get in and play, you know, things are just so much, I don't want to say easier, but they just make more sense, right? You understand, it's like seven days to die, you know? The regular game, you know certain things about it. Like, you know, everything gets made in the forge. You can dump material into the forge, you know? Um, and have it stored there for when you need it. Um, you know, little things like that, that you already know. You want to kind of do the same thing for this. So at least you have an idea of where the recipes are made, where your advantage advantages are, what you kind of want to work towards. Because um, I think it really helps out when you're playing. And then if it seems too easy, just crank the difficulty up. Because this game, as it goes along, just gets more and more difficult. Like Seven Days to Die, you get to a point where it's like, Unless you do something completely I idiotic, you're just really not going to die. You know, you got the auto shotgun, you've got like all kinds of crazy shiz. And there's just, I don't want to say there's no chance you're going to die, but it's very, very slim that you'll actually die. Um, but in this, death is very real. It's like you could just walk into the wrong building at the wrong time, three football players jump you and it's over, right? Because there's no guarantees as to the mobs you're going to find. Like later in game, yes, obviously they're going to get even harder. Uh, but in early game, you still find some of the harder mobs, right? So, one of the things I'm enjoying about it is always having to stay on your toes. Grab you. 
All right, so we're going to go down into the mine now and grab a whole bunch of iron. I'll probably just do that off camera. Actually, what is there, is there anything else I want to do? Um, well, we still have daylight. You know what? Let's punch out because we got to replace these because we don't want the zombies breaking through the lower level of the building. So I got to replace these with flagstone. Well, well, we'll upgrade it fully to cobblestone. So let's get these out of here. Okay, so on Horde Night, um, the rule is we're not allowed to repair anything on the base, except for things that are non-complicated. So we can have wood frames on us, but uh, all we're allowed to do is upgrade it to wood. So if we're doing repairs, we can, you know, if we need to upgrade or, or uh, replace a block, we can do it with a wood frame and, a, and then upgrade it, like one level to wood, or one or two levels, but that's not going to help us. Like, honestly, they'll blow through that really quick. So it's just really a way of saying, look, you know, emergency patches are fine with this. It's just really a stopgap. It's not going to save your ass in any way. Um, but we really need to think ahead and have contingency plans for everything. And like later in game, when the horde gets to be a certain size, we're gonna be like having like major problems, I think. Um, Cause just being on top of stainless steel, it's not gonna solve any problems. Now I think these window, this one can go, I think. Cause the zombies are gonna like the stainless steel, if they, if they decided that, that they wanted to break that down and kill me, there wouldn't be a damn thing I could do about it. They would just break it down and kill me like in later game, especially with a larger horde. Because we are going to be, like I said, we're going to be turning the horde up as we go along. So this is the last wooden one. Let's take you out so I'm not making noise here. I'll be making noise down below on the iron for sure, but at least we're underground. Maybe but might be a little bit quieter. Okay, let's go get our cobblestone. Oh, we missed a one right here. Can't have that. Let's get this one done. And we have to do upstairs too, because if they get up on the catwalk, I'm not going to worry about it right now, but if they get up on the catwalk and we're in this building upstairs, there are a couple of windows. Like, these ones aren't so bad on this side. This one we could probably fill in, although I'll probably put a door here. But up here, there's like, that one can get filled in, that one can get filled in, and these ones as well, because if they come up this way, they could break in relatively easily. Okay, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, cobblestone. Um, so let's get the obvious areas areas covered with cobble. So this side near this door, that's two up, so that's fine. By this door here around the front, because this is where we're going to be. How much do I got left now? Uh, oh, we got lots left. Can probably fill all these in. I can probably sneak this between here. Right? Yes. There we go. That should be all of them. Excellent. Alright, let's close this. So that's this downstairs relatively protected. Now, as far as these stairs go, how much is this going to give us to hit these out? Oh, 65 for hit. And I think we got to eventually take all of these out, but I think if we take out... I thought about just taking the... Oh, we got ramp blocks under here too. That's a lot. So it's not just the stair, it's the stair, then the ramp block. So we take these two out, then the two on that side, this one in the ramp block, and then... Oh god, there's so much to take out here. Alright, well we're going to put a stopgap measure in, I guess, until we can get more time to do that. We're going to have to, yeah, i got to have to focus on the, um, yeah, we're going to go outside and we're going to focus on getting the uh, ones outside done properly. Like this, the uh, metal stairs, we'll get them taken down tomorrow. Uh, I think that's a big, that we really need to do that for sure. Okay, let's get this stuff in here. Apples can go in there. You can go in there for now. Eggs. That was a nice find. And we can make 26 more arrows. So let's do it. Go ahead and do that. 
Somebody's banging on something. Hang on. Sounds like just one, though. Like I said, they're gonna blow through these walls like they're paper. I just have them upgraded for now, so that... Yeah, she took some damage from the guards. She's done. It probably was a wandering horde. Although I don't see where they went to. Did you guys get most of them? There's one guy over there. He's down. Gonna try and kill as many out back here as I can, because we're gonna be mining underneath here. There we go, another one out here. A little behind. There we go. Come on, buddy. Anytime you want to shoot him. Or not. I got this one, don't worry. Making me waste all my freaking arrows before Horde Knight. Great. This guy's a feral. We'll be getting a bunch of these guys on Horde Knight. Damn it, miss a miss. One more and you're done. There we go, one and done. Oh, we got Mo right here. So yeah. Oop, that went right between his legs, I think. There we go. Oh, he's a crawler now. Sucks to be you, buddy. Like, imagine somebody shooting your leg off, and then you gotta, like, the only, your only choice is to... Oop, that was a miss. Try and crawl towards him to get him. He lost his head, too. All right, anybody on this side now? We're good. Yeah, and I f completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, we gotta make food. We gotta do a bunch of stuff. So, tomorrow we're gonna take these stairs out. Hopefully I'll have a ton of iron by tomorrow. These walls, like I said, are, they're just to delay the zombies from getting in. They're not, they're, like, they're not gonna stop anything, right? Uh, let's put you... ...on there. Yeah. This is not going to stop anything, right? They're going to just blow through these like they're paper on Horde Night. Alright. Um, but it's just to slowly delay them so that I can get to where I need to be. I should take this out. This could cause problems. And we got to do Jen here. Like, we got to make sure... This is one of the reasons why we got to mine a ton of iron. Because we gotta at least make sure she's updated to the first level. We found a fair bit of iron today. Holy crap. Um, yeah, so we gotta make sure she's at least upgraded one more level. So this is a thousand hit points. Um, this is 300. This is like upgraded to a thousand. One more is, is uh, 2,000 and then it goes to concrete, which is 2,500. So as long as we get this uploaded, updated to a thousand, I can probably shoot those arrows down here you know and I don't expect the zombies to go this way unless they somehow destroy the ramp here which I don't think they'll do I think we'll be fine all right guys so I'm gonna end the episode here I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribe did I hear a zombie no please feel free to subscribe you can also drop your comments in the comment section down below like I said I'm pre-recording a, a lot of this ahead of time so um, suggestions will probably be updated after days well Probably way after day seven, most likely. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go through and play this because I'm having such a great time with this mod. Um, yeah, so until next time, we'll see you later.